Are you a running or cycling enthusiast? Or are you already using a Forerunner or Edge bike computer? If you answered yes to either of these questions, then there's some information in this video that may appeal to you. You see, not too long ago, we released a couple software updates for the following Forerunner and Edge products. We're constantly improving and adding new features to our products through software updates to help make sure that you get the most out of your purchase. And it's worth mentioning that these software updates are free. So if you happen to like the idea of cleaner and newer cycling maps or improved VO2 max and intensity minutes, stick around with me for a bit while I explain what got what. First, we'll take care of you edge users. So if you happen to have a Forerunner device, feel free to jump ahead to this point in the video or use the timestamp provided in the description. We know that when the urge to ride hits, you just want to gear up and head out, leaving little to no time to dilly-dally after you've hopped on or clipped in. Well, this latest update for all of the following edge units will help get your ride started faster with better routes for where you want to ride. With a successful update, you'll get high contrast maps that should make bike-friendly paved, gravel, or mountain routes more visible in all light conditions. Have you been wanting faster route calculation? You got it. Thanks to the bike computer now caching the route after it's been calculated once. And trendline popularity heat maps are now layered directly onto the map, adjusting automatically based on the ride type so you can instantly see the most relevant places to ride. Are my Forerunner customers here? You find the place all right? <laughs> okay. Now this first set of updates will apply to all of the Forerunners listed on your screen and may provide you some important insight into your training, performance, and recovery data. Depending on your overall goals, watching your intensity minutes may be important. Well, with improved intensity minutes, you can now find out how and when daily intensity minutes were earned. And that's not the only improvement. You can now record VO2 max data during a trail run activity and receive a more accurate VO2 max reading that accounts for difficult terrain or footing when using the general run activity profile. If you need a refresher for what VO2 max is all about, be sure to check out a couple other videos on this channel that cover that topic. Do you sometimes find yourself wishing that you had kept a better record for how you felt after a certain workout? Well, we've added the ability to rate the perceived effort and feel of a run, bike, or swim activity. After you've stopped the timer, select Save and you'll receive a prompt to record your rate of perceived exertion and feel. Then, once your watch is able to sync with the Garmin Connect app, your subjective rating will upload as part of the activity. To access this feature, select the preferred activity and then go to that activity setting. Scroll down until you find self-evaluation and select from the available options. For you Forerunner 245 and 245 Music users, you should now see a feature growing in popularity called Daily Suggested Workouts. Do you sometimes struggle trying to figure out the best plan of action for your workout? Now you'll receive on-device run and cycling suggestions based on your own training history, fitness level, and recovery time. These suggestions not only give you a little guidance to reaching that next step, but they can also make your daily run a little bit more fun and exciting. And don't worry, if you already have a game plan, you can easily dismiss the suggestion for that day. Now, do you have a Forerunner 745 or 945 on your wrist? Well, listen up. We have some updates that touch on a number of things. Sleep, long runs, daily health monitoring, and improved workout guidance. Keeping tabs on our overall daily wellness has become fairly common in an age of smartwatches. It's easy for us to keep track of our actual age, but what about the age our body feels? After this update, you can now receive a more accurate estimate of your body's fitness age using multiple variables, including resting heart rate and your body's mass index. And I know you enjoy your sleep. Who doesn't? Review your advanced sleep metrics, including sleep stages. In addition to that, get a sleep score and insights based on the quality and quantity of the previous night's sleep. Are you part of the running community who loves to push yourself with long distances? Or perhaps you're like me and you originally only planned on going out for a 5K, when after mile two, you're feeling pretty good. And before you know it, your watch beeps because you just wrapped up mile eight. In either case, for you ultra athletes, you can now select the ultra run activity and log time spent at aid stations thanks to the activity's rest timer. The last key update adds some fun and easy to follow animated on-screen workouts, including cardio, strength, yoga, and Pilates, all available to download and sync from the Garmin Connect app. If you have questions or need assistance with the update, head on over to support.garmin.com and type the name of your device in the search bar. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Avery with Garmin, hoping that we've continued to help you beat yesterday.